All right, Coach Tahura. Uh, tough match tonight with Ryder, but I'll tell you what, I saw some bright spots. Um, let's 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 go with the brightest spot for me tonight. Uh, Evan Cheek, 141. You know, we're talking about a guy who placed in the Southern Scuffle, and he's put himself in a position. He's got to be like the 34th ranked guy. He's right there. He's right there. He's at least, he's 34 to 40, 34, 39, somewhere in there, right? In the coaches' rankings, the first one just came out. But um, I look at that match tonight against Dippery. He's down 4-0. And when you see a college match when a guy's down 4-0, they don't normally come back to tie the match and make it 4-4. He's right in that thing until the end, down 5-4. And, uh, you know, it goes one way. He tries to throw. You know, he gets taken down. But he's right there to win the match. Oh, yeah. What is the message to him and guys like that 149? Ford, same thing, right? Two tough matches you lost in the third period. What do you got to do to get over the hump? I asked Coach Moore, what do you got to do to get your guys over the hump in a match like that? What do you got to do? The big thing is is buying in and believing in what we're doing because it's getting us to that pivotal point, to that takedown point in the third period. And, you know, a lot of these guys, they've progressed to that point. Now they've got to have that confidence and stay disciplined and, and dig a little bit deeper to make it work. You know, and, and I think, uh, you know, part of his experience, you know, you talk about Ford, he's a redshirt freshman. You talk about Cheek, he's a true junior, which is a little bit, but... Um, you know, these guys, they've got to buy in, they've got to understand that it's there to take, and they've just got to take, you know, take that match and get that takedown and put it away. And so, you know, that's, that's part of the progression, and, and these guys have gotten to that point, and you've got to see this, these losses as a part of that progression and, and something that drives you forward to get that takedown and just go get it. Get frustrated enough to use it as fuel. Corbett doesn't get the wrestle tonight against Fag Days, who was 2-1 and one against last year. They split matches. Beat him at the AWL, beat him at the end saves. I reminded Nick those are the two most important places right. to win. But he, he's kind of your horse, man. He's yeah. your guy that can go deep into the tournament here in Cleveland. What do you got to get out of Nick, and, and what leadership in the last two months of his career do you need out of Nick to, for him to be where he needs to be in March? I think he just needs to keep doing what he's doing, be an example. Uh, he works extremely hard. He's always ready. I mean, I don't know if you saw, he was warming up just in case. Just in case I wanted him to go 97, just in case they threw somebody out at 84. I think guys see that, they, they understand it, and they it's a good example. You know, and I think that's what Nick has to do. And, and he just needs to continue to score points and be, be aggressive and be offensive. And, uh, you know, at times he's, you know, he's really dominated some really quality kids this year. And, um, you know, he's getting back healthy. The rest of dinged up a little bit most of the year. But, uh, you know, I think I'm pretty happy with where he's at and as how he's progressing. Looking at the NCAA tournament, you're not the host, but it's under a mile away. That's got to be better for you, actually. It's like less work for you. Today. It's a lot less work, um, but it's a lot more phone calls and a lot less helpfulness. So, no, Cleveland State has nothing to do with the tournament. It's the MAC, MAC tournament. tournament. Right. Or it's the, the MAC, MAC conference, conference right. which is actually their cap, their headquarters their is here. Their headquarters are in Cleveland, yes. So, you know, you look at that. How special is that to you? To, 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 you're not the host, but it's right it's here, in our man. City. It's, it's your, right. it's it's in your our tournament. City. It's right? our tournament. Yeah. It's, it's under a mile away. So, um, you know, the funny thing is the very first NCAA tournament I ever went to was on this campus in 1998. And so, you know, having it back here, being a coach is pretty special. And I think the guys are pretty, pretty excited about it. And, you know, like I told them, I said, you know, listen, this, this will never happen again in your career. And, and most people never get a chance to wrestle in their home city on that stage. I mean, make the most of it. I think, uh, you know, I think we're going to have a good contingent of people here cheering for us. And, We've got some guys that can do some damage, and, and you know, once you get to that tournament, it's who's ready. Like, nobody's healthy, nobody's come through unscathed. It's who's ready and who wants it. So I feel good. All right, you guys, uh, who you got next? We got uh, next weekend. We've got George Mason on Saturday at noon, and then we travel to Clarion on Sunday. All right, you got anything else for me, Coach? No, thanks for being here. I haven't seen you in a while. It's about a minute. Thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys moving forward into the EWL. And I will actually be calling the EWL coach, all right? Okay. Yes, sir.